Hello and welcome to the second paper video public service announcement. And it's not just any public service announcement today, guys. Because this is our special Valentine's Day edition. Paper video Valentine's public service Day announcement Day Valentine's, Valentine's Day edition. Day. So in today's announcement, we're going to teach you some alternative ways to tell that special person that you love them. Now on Valentine's Day, you don't just want to declare your affection the same way that everybody else does. Chocolates, teddy bears, flowers. Boo! No, you want to show that you're smart and thoughtful and creative. So what could possibly be better than saying I love you with maths. Ooh, maths. I mean, who doesn't love maths? Well, I can't think of anyone. People haven't told me my whole life that they hate maths when I bring up that I'm a maths teacher. And as a maths teacher, I'm in an excellent position to share with you the top ways of using maths to say, I love you. And I can personally attest to these methods working super well. Number one, the love expression. If you're a beginner in love, working at the grade 8 or 9 level, then simplifying this easy expression is the way to go. Now 128 times by the square root of E980 might look complicated at first, but all you have to do to simplify this is whoop 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 boom son. Number 2. The Love Inequality Now if you're working at the grade 10 level of love, then you can use this inequality to declare your affection to that special someone. All you have to do is send it to them and tell them to solve for I. Now it might look hectic at first, but it's actually really simple. All we do is, we just quickly take this over and then times that out and then simplify what we have there and then we divide by minus 7 and ah. Uh, Number 3. The love function. Finally, if your love level is advanced and you take AP Maths, then you can use the love function to declare your affection. Now, if you only had y equals the absolute value of x, then you would end up with a funky little guy that looks like this. Pachoo, pachoo. Whereas plus minus the square root of 9 minus x squared is simply the top and the bottom half of a circle. But if you combine them, you get the most sexy function you have ever seen. But seriously, all of us here at Paper Video hope you have an amazing Valentine's Day. Whether your love is transcendental like the number pi, or complicated and undefined like dividing by zero, or even imaginary like the number i, you are all awesome. So respect each other, make each other feel good, and everybody love everybody.